you all might have heard about solar energy and wind energy but have you ever wondered why these two energy sources have not replaced coal power plants till now well there's one major factor is that at some points of time they produce lots of energy which is more than what can be used and at some points of time like on the rainy days or on not so windy days these energy sources don't produce enough energy to meet our needs so today we have made a prototype model which is going to tackle this problem so here we have a hospital and a hydrogen power station i'll tell you why we need these later so the main concept of our project is on electrolysis so basically what happens here is, is that when excess energy is produced by solar panels or wind turbines it's stored in the form of hydrogen to electrolysis this is our electrolysis plant the prototype model so this electrolysis plant you can see right here will be connected directly to the power outlets of the solar panels and the wind turbines and when the supply is less than the demand of electricity then no power will be given to the electrolysis plant but when the supply is more than the demand on the grid then energy will be transferred to the electrolysis plant for it to be converted into hydrogen and oxygen using electrolysis so what we'll be doing with the hydrogen here is we'll be transferring it to the hydrogen power station which will fuel the cars in the future which will be hydrogen uh, driven and the oxygen will be sent to the hospitals after converting it into medical grade oxygen and with this there will be no wastage of any gas and if any time in the future electricity is needed then we can always convert it back into electricity using a proton exchange membrane which is PEM in short then convert the hydrogen back to electricity and for short term energy requirements and for uh, lower uh, power demands we can always use lithium ion batteries but for long term storage this is our best option and to store it in hydrogen form and oxygen also so here are some advantages of this technology over the, our current technology that's lithium ion batteries so currently we use lithium ion batteries which have a very short lifespan and once their lifespan is over then they mainly end up in landfills and they can't be recycled that much so this technology helps so that we don't have any lithium ion uh, pollution so we get long term energy storage and we have no losses compared to the lithium ion batteries which have a self discharge rate also and we can store hydrogen in a more denser form compared to lithium ion batteries which can be charged to a certain limit and it's a highly versatile technology this can be converted back to electricity it can be used to fuel hydrogen cars there are many uses of hydrogen and even oxygen in hospitals and it has very low environmental impact because when hydrogen burns it does not emit any greenhouse gases and it's also a widely available resource you can just take water from your nearby pond or lake and just filter it a bit and use it for electrolysis and that's how our technology will work thank you